Dear student, Assalamu alaikum. I hope by the grace of Almighty Allah, all of you are fine. Dear student, I am Muhammad Shah Jahan, Assistant Professor, Department of Accounting, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. Dear student, today we will discuss Chapter 5. Dear student, this is Financial Statement of Joint Stock Company and this is our 8th lecture on this chapter. Dear student, after this lecture, you will be able to prepare a statement of written earnings. You will be able to prepare a statement of financial position. Dear student, this is a trial balance. This is a trial balance for doing the math and there are necessary adjustments. And our requirement is prepare a statement of written earnings. Is net profit is 52,500. And our next requirement is prepare a statement of financial position. Dear student, let's come to the solution. Dear student, all of you know that we have given you the formula chart. At first, you have to take the formula in your hand for doing this math. Dear student, you know that for doing financial statement, we need to follow the formula. So this is the most important thing, learn the formula. And the formula is given in lecture one and two. Dear student, now look at the format of return earnings. At first, you have to write the name of company, then a statement of written earnings for the year ended 31 December 2019. Dear student, for preparing written earnings statement, we have to two part. At first, first part, we will write the income. We will write the income. That means which will be added the, with the income and there is then appropriation. That means distribution of profits. Dear student, you know that we have discussed return earnings means distribution of profit. Whatever profit the organization earned this year, how they distribute that profit to the owners or to the fund. Dear student, that will discuss will return earnings account. At first, you have to write balance of return earnings. Dear student, you know that in the question it is written in the trial balance balance of return earning it is 56,000 then current year net profit this is uh, in the uh, requirement it is given so dear student 56,000 is our balance of return earnings then current of year net profit is 52,500 so total amount of income is 1,8500 1,8500 then dear student next item is uh, if there is any unclaimed dividend or income tax, that also be in the addition side. Dear student, look at, uh, we have unclaimed dividend. Uh, particularly, it is a current liability. Particularly, it is a current liability. You have to write it in the liability side. That means uh, some shareholder, they may outside of the country for, or uh, for any purpose, they are not claiming their uh, dividend. That's, that's why it is our liability. When they ask for dividend, their dividend, we have to pay. But if it is for long time in the business, that time the management may take decision to return of this dividend. Look at the decision. Unclaimed dividend is to be written off. That means the author, the management decision is that this unclaimed dividend is for long time in the organization, so we will not continue. Last five years, they are not asking for it. So we may, we may dissolve it from the business. That's why, dear student, unclaimed dividend we have to show in income side because nobody asked for this dividend. So total amount of income is 1,14,500. Now, appropriation, that means distribution of profits. How we distribute this profit? Look at, we have to see the adjustment. Maximum time it is given in the adjustment. Uh, look at, uh, below closing stock, no, it is not here. Depreciation, uh, unclaimed dividend. Then, uh, dividend to be declared. Yes, this is the number one adjustment for return earning. Divid dividend declared 10% on share capital, which will be adjusted with interim dividend. Dear student, in this math, that means they have given interim dividend. Earlier, they see that their profit is well enough. That's why they given some interim dividend to the shareholder. So we have to adjust interim dividend with the declared dividend. So at first we see what is the amount of declared dividend. Look at their capital. What is the amount of capital? 10 lakh. Again, I will tell you, take your calculator and the dividend is 10%. So 10 lakh. 10%, 10 lakh into 10 divided by 100. That means it is 1 lakh taka. This year, the company will give dividend taka 1 lakh but it will be adjusted with interim dividend. Look at what is the amount of interim dividend. Yes, interim dividend is 20,000. That means in the middle of the year, in the first half of the year, 
they may give they give 20,000 as an interim dividend. So, total amount of dividend is 1 lakh and out of that they have given already 20,000. So, now proposed dividend will be 80,000. Look at the solution dear student. Uh, interim dividend it is 20,000 and proposed dividend 1 lakh total dividend minus 20,000 80,000 that means they have given 1 lakh taka as dividend dear student. I hope you understand this dividend. Uh, now look at whatever item we have. Uh, income tax reserve, it is not item, yeah, taka 5000 to be transferred to general reserve. That means we have told you that in return earnings, we will write the, uh, write the uh, transfer of fund and we will how we distribute the profits. So here, transfer to general reserve, taka 5000. Look at uh, transfer to reserve fund, it is 5000. So this one lakh we have solved out, 5000 also sort out. Now we have to look at tile balance if there is any item related to uh, related to this return earnings look at here none, none look at yes oh income tax is here look at income tax 15,000 income tax provision 10,000 last class also I have discussed with you dear student if income tax is greater than income tax provision then it is our expenditure that means we have to subtract it it, it is a appropriation but if the income tax is lower than the provision that means if we keep earlier more money as provision now income tax is less that means that is our income so here income tax is greater in, uh, income tax provision is lower so this is uh, appro appropriations look at income tax 15,000 given trial balance provision is 10,000 so 5,000 5, is our new expenditure dear student uh, last class I have shown you that income tax provision is greater that time we have to write it here in income statement side okay dear students so uh, our appropriation is here 5000 for me for income tax distribution 1 lakh for dividend distribution and 5000 transfer to reserve fund so total amount of appropriation is 1 lakh 10,000 dear student 1 lakh 14,500 is our income and 1 lakh 10,000 we have distributed to different fund so balance of return earning is 4500 i hope all of you understand dear student now a statement of financial position a statement of financial position dear student this is the most important statement for us we can write at first liabilities and capital also we can write at first asset also last month i have shown you that capital and liability as at first and here I have written asset at first. This is the marshalling system of asset and liabilities. Dear student, you know that the asset are classified into fixed asset, investment, current asset and fixed ECS asset. That means in an organization, there may be four types of asset. Number one, according to its behavior, fixed time, fixed asset. This will give you long term service. Then investment, this is if we invest money anywhere, then current asset, it will give you short term as short term service and fictitious asset. Actually, this is not asset. This is expenses, but we will not uh, return off within the short time. That's why it is uh, we have shown temporarily in the asset side. So dear student, let's find the asset. Let's find the asset from the math. Look at 10% investment so you will write it in the investment side 10% investment it is investment and then machinery it is a fixed asset then cash in hand it is also current asset furniture it is a fixed asset preliminary expenses you know that it is fictitious asset then patent it is a fixed asset intangible fixed asset dear student you know that fixed asset two types tangible intangible some fixed asset you can see some fixed asset you cannot see so this is intangible fixed asset patent then uh, yes there is no other asset there is no other asset here in the trial balance dear student let's come to the solution patent it is written machinery less depreciation dear student at the time of doing income statement last class we have seen that if there is depreciation that also will be subtracted from asset because we have uh, machinery is 5 lakh and out of that depreciation is 25,000 so net amount of asset is uh, 4 lakh 75,000 net amount of machinery and furniture we have 1 lakh 50,000 and depreciation of furniture is 15,000 so we have net amount of furniture is 1 lakh 35,000 dear student we have got all the fixed asset we have three fixed fixed asset patent uh, then machinery is net value then furniture 
net below. So total amount of fixed asset is six lakh fifteen thousand. I hope you understand. Then investment it is two lakh fifty thousand. Now current asset cash in hand. I have told in the trial balance it is two two lakh forty five thousand. And now some item will come from adjustment. Look at dear student, what is the asset from adjustment? Below of closing stock, it is asset. But dear student, you see, you know that sixty thousand is our below, but eighteen thousand destroyed by fire. So we cannot write this eighteen thousand as asset. Okay, dear student, so you have to write asset sixty thousand minus forty eight thousand. That means forty two thousand is asset. And dear student, another asset is here. Insurance company would like to pay fifteen thousand. That means as we will get compensation from insurance company. So that is also our receivable from insurance company. That is also another asset. And you have seen that we have subtract depreciation of machinery and furniture from depreciation. And dear student, there is no other asset. Uh, let's see the math, dear student. Yes, cash in hand, current asset from trial balance, closing stock, adjustment. Look at forty-two thousand. That means we cannot write sixty thousand. Then interest on investment. This is also asset. We have calculated it because we have two lakh fifty thousand investment. Two lakh fifty thousand into ten percent into six by twelve because we invest six months before. So it is twelve thousand five hundred. Then receivable from insurance. Receivable from insurance. That is fifteen thousand. That is also asset. That is also. Assets. So total amount of current asset is three lakh fourteen thousand five hundred, and preliminary expenses is five thousand five hundred. Dear students, so total asset six lakh fifteen thousand, two lakh fifty thousand current investment. This is current asset. Then this is the amount of preliminary expenses. So total amount of asset is eleven lakh eighty five thousand. Dear student, I hope you understand. Dear student, now amount of capital. At first, we have to write authorized capital, dear student. You know that the beginning of the math, our capital structure is given. Look at our authorized capital is one crore, and divided into ten lakh share at the rate of ten each, and our paid up capital is ten lakh. So, dear student, look at the capital structure. Yes, authorized capital, ten lakh share at the rate of taka ten one crore. Issued capital one lakh share at the rate of ten is ten lakh and paid up capital also one lakh shares at the rate of taka ten is. It is ten lakh, dear student. Then our next item is reserve and surplus. Reserve and surplus, dear student. You know that from requirement day balance of written earnings it is four thousand five hundred. Look at you have calculated four thousand five hundred balance of written earnings for next year. Dear student, general reserve fund. If you can remember, it is five thousand general reserve fund, and current year transfer is five thousand. Look at, look at the math. General reserve. Yes, I have earlier general reserve. It is five thousand, and in the adjustment, it is said that current year transfer five thousand. So total amount of our reserve is five thousand plus five thousand ten thousand. So reserve and surplus four thousand five hundred for return earnings, and general reserve ten thousand total fourteen thousand. 500 and long term liability in the math we have seen that 10% loan we have that is long term liabilities and current liabilities dear student let's find the current liabilities amount of current liabilities from the math and adjustment dear student and from the interest we have due interest it is we have calculated earlier 30000 into 10% it is 3000 and for 4 month it is 1000 that means how we can calculate 30000 into 10% into 4 divided by 12 it is 1000 this is our current liability we have to pay this interest on loan then rent unpaid dear student how you can calculate unpaid 3 by 4 that means you have to divide by 3 you have to divide by 3 then you will find the amount of unpaid amount of rent it is 4000 so this is also current liability so we have to current liability due interest on loan due interest uh, unpaid amount of rent then Yeah, we have to find the amount of bad current account balance. It may be current liability. Dear student, later on I'll show you how you can calculate bad balance of bad current account. Uh, any other current liabilities? Dear student, unclaimed dividend, the proposed dividend that is also our current liability. Look at the math, dear student. Uh, proposed dividend eighty thousand. Dear student, you know that total dividend one lakh. Out of that, we have paid twenty thousand earlier. So twenty thousand is eighty thousand is our current liability. We have to pay due rent. It is also a current liability. Due interest on loan. It is also current liability. Dear student, we have kept uh, 
uh, 20,000 for next year income tax. That means next year I have to pay this amount. This is also current liability. Yes, balance of bad current account. How you will calculate? Dear student, again, you have to take your calculator. Dear student, if you can remember, if you can remember our bad current account balance, it is credit balance. It is credit balance. Look at uh, credit balance, our bad current account balance, credit balance, it is balance of bad current account. Look at yes, it is 1000. And for sales, you have to pay the bet for purchase. You for sales, you collect the bet from the public. That means it is your liability. You have to pay to the government. And from purchase, you have bet. You have paid the bet. That means you will get rebate to government. So, dear student, if you can remember, yes, uh, uh, the bet of purchase and sales. Look at we will calculate again. Earlier also we have discussed. Again, I will calculate five lakh taka. You have sales. Then you have to subtract five thousand five hundred. That means it's net sales and into 15 divided by 115 look at find the amount dear the student 5000 5 lakh into 5 lakh is our sales minus 5500 5000 that means 4 lakh 94500 into 15 divided by 115 that means 64500 is our sales bet that means you have collected this amount of money from people so uh, 1000 is our earlier liability now 64500 that means total liability is uh, 65500 out of that you have paid how much look at your purchase is 250000 250000 and you have to return you, you have returned 2000 so 248000 and out of that 18000 is good disturbed by fire so net purchase is 230000 and to like 30,000 into 15 divided by 115, it is 30,000, dear students. So, our purchase bet is 30,000. 65,500 is our liability. I have to bid and minus 30,000, that means 35,500 is our balance of bad current account, which I have to pay to the government. This is our liability. Inshallah, dear student, later on we will discuss in details about bad current account 35,500. I will show you how we'll we how will prepare bad current account. We have to pay, prepare a laser also. Okay, so dear student, uh, net amount of Capital is 10 lakh, net amount of reserve and surplus is 14,500, net amount of loan is 30,000 and current liability is 1 lakh 40,500. So total amount of capital and liability is 11 lakh 85,000, it is equals to asset. So you know that you learn uh, earlier total amount of asset equals to total amount of capital plus liabilities. So dear student, our math is correct automatically because our asset and liabilities are equal i hope all of you understand of course again i am telling you if you have any types of confusion if you types of, you have any types of doubt without any hesitation you, you you will share with us so that we can help you dear student thank you very much allah face stay home stay safe may allah help all of you